we're performing uh, Schoenberg's first chamber symphony in this concert. It's a piece he wrote in 1906. And it's a pretty amazing work, really. And you don't get a chance to hear it all that often in the original version, which we're doing. Uh, Schoenberg wrote, well, there are three versions of the, um, of the piece. Uh, the original version is for 15 instruments. And then in the 1930s, Schoenberg did a, an arrangement for full symphony orchestra. And then there's a, a version for five instruments made by his pupil, Anton Webern, and we're also performing a work of Webern's in the, uh, in the concert. But it's the original version that we're doing, and it's pretty amazing, really, because he wrote it for ten wind instruments and five string instruments. So the balance that you normally get with a full symphony orchestra is completely reversed. Normally there are far more string instruments than wind instruments, and here the main weight of the sound is, is the wind, and you hear the strings as soloists. So it's a quite unique sound, and I'm not aware of any other work that's been written for this particular combination of instruments. Quite remarkable, considering the piece was written over 100 years ago. It's incredibly virtuosic, fantastic amount of activity. The whole piece is like a big romantic symphony, but compressed into 20 minutes. And conducting it feels like being in the middle of a hurricane. Uh, and it's tremendously exciting for the players too. So I think it's something not to be missed. <laughs> 